Photoshop is a household name and a staple within the digital art community. And even if you're not within those circles, you definitely heard about the software at the very least. Being such a huge success, Adobe decided to give the software an offspring, if you will, and name it Photoshop Elements. Isn't this a weird way to put it? Anyways, in today's video, we will explore everything that has to do with both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, from a simple overview to a rundown of their tools and which software would be best for you. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. But wait, hold on a second. Are you interested in learning animation? Dynamic animation with 2D and 3D illustration might be just the course for you. Your instructors from Domestica are the creative directors and co-founders of Adventure Studio, Willie and Jill Russell. The studio collaborated with huge names like Google, Buck, and Imaginary Forces. You'll start this course by learning how to get inspired through exploring references, creating a concept for your story, and writing a visual script. After that, you'll take your visual script to the storyboard and start creating your scenes frame by frame in Photoshop. Next, you'll design your character and create your style frames. You'll decide which element you would want to be 2D or 3D in your animation. Cause there is some modeling in this course inside Cinema 4D, using box and poly modeling techniques. After that, you'll jump to After Effects, build your 2D character and keyframe its movements throughout the sequence. You'll finish the course by compositing everything together and exporting your video to share it with the world. You can benefit from 10% off at checkout using our promo code. Links and code will be in the description box below. Adobe Photoshop is a raster graphics editor developed and published by Adobe Inc. for Windows and Mac OS. Photoshop is the industry standard for digital image processing and editing, plus creating digital artwork, which is the primary use of the software. Photoshop is also capable of creating complex layouts for print or web design, graphic design, animation, 3D graphics, and even video post processing. Photoshop is not available for purchase as a permanent license, but rather uses a subscription model with various plans. If subscribed to Adobe Creative Cloud, which starts at $9.99 a month, you would gain access to more than 20 software, including Photoshop. If subscribed to Photoshop Stand Alone, you would be paying $20.99 US dollars a month annually. The plans Adobe offers are plenty and varied, so make sure to check their website for more information. Photoshop Elements is a photo processor and manager with a lot of inbuilt effects created by Adobe that allows users to edit digital photos and images. Photoshop Elements is a light version of Photoshop, originally designed for beginner users. The software has three modes of varying complexity. The first mode is the full edit mode, which is the most complex and allows users to access all of the features of the software. The second mode is the quick edit mode, which is less complex and provides access to some of the features of the software. The third and final mode is the guided edit mode, which is designed for users who are new to Photoshop or who want to learn how to use the software. Photoshop Elements also offers a wide range of templates and layouts for creating collages, scrapbooks, and other projects. In addition, the program includes a library of stock images that can be used in your creations. Photoshop Elements is available as a one-time purchase. If you're interested in purchasing Photoshop Elements, you have two options. You can either buy it alone for $99.99 or you can purchase it as a package with its companion video editing software Premiere Elements for $149.99. Photoshop has a variety of tools. For instance, the brush tool that can be used to paint and add color to your image. It comes in a variety of types and you can also customize them if you like. On the other hand, the pencil tool can be used to draw precise lines. 
The software also includes shape tools, such as the rectangle and rounded rectangle tools, which are the most basic of Photoshop shape tools. But don't let that fool you, they're still incredibly versatile. By default, both of these tools will draw a shape with sharp corners. However, if you hold down the shift key as you click and drag, you'll create a perfect square or circle. And if you want to create a custom shape, you can always use the pen tool. Just make sure to have the shape layer option selected in the options bar. And like the rectangle and rounded rectangle tools, both of these shapes can be created with sharp or rounded corners. The pen tool is another one of Photoshop's tools. It allows you to create vector graphics, which essentially means graphics that don't lose quality upon any kind of scaling. Other tools in Photoshop include, but are certainly not limited to, Quick Select tool, which allows for quick and easy object selection, Lasso Selection tool for freehand selection, Refine Edge Brush tool for complex edge selection, such as the edges of hair, for example. Camera raw filter for white balance, exposure, shadows, highlights, adjustments, color highlight, color range tool, colorize with hue, saturation adjustment, content aware fill, and many more. Photoshop Elements, on the other hand, does not veer away much from Photoshop, as it is the simpler version of it, so to speak. Just as in Photoshop, we have the brush tool that comes with a variety of different settings that you can adjust to suit your needs. You have the pencil tool that can be used with any of the other drawing tools to create more complex shapes. You have the Impressionist Brush Tool, which offers a fun and easy way to give your photos an artistic makeover. By making a few simple tweaks, you can transform your images into dazzling works of art. The Smudge Tool, which you can use to smudge existing colors in your image, or smear foreground color, for instance. The Eraser Tool, a staple in any software, is, of course, present in Elements. Alongside the basic eraser is its sister, the Magic Eraser Tool, that is used for removing background objects from an image and other things, such as unwanted blemishes, for example. Another amazing feature is the Guided Edits, which you can use to extend photo backgrounds, move and scale objects, add color to black and white pics, and even easily swap backgrounds. You can also get creative with patterns and textured overlays to really make your photos pop. Photoshop tutorials usually take between 12 and 25 hours to complete. This is enough time to teach you the basics of the program and how to use its features. However, if you want to become a proficient user of Photoshop, you will need to put in many more hours of practice. There are a number of ways to do this, such as taking online courses, watching video tutorials, or reading books on the subject. However, the best way to learn is by doing. Experiment with the various tools and see what effect they have on your images. Try new techniques and see how they can help you to create better photos. With enough practice, you'll eventually become a Photoshop expert. As for Photoshop Elements, it's a bit of a different story since the software is by design made to cater for beginners. You can expect to be able to learn to use it in no time, especially if you have history with digital art software. The three interface models that the software has can be a great way for you to ease yourself into using Elements and going from being guided by the software to completely mastering it by the end. Since Elements is the simpler version of Photoshop, it can be easy to carry over everything you learned from Elements to Photoshop and kickstart your deep dive into the bigger software if need be. If you ever find yourself stuck in Elements, fear not. There are many tutorials to help you get started and make the journey even easier for you. If we were to compare the two, of course Elements wins in this department, but be mindful of the fact that it is easier to learn because it's a simplified version of Photoshop. Both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements are excellent programs, but they excel in different departments. If you're a beginner, are new to image editing in Photoshop, or simply want to spend less time in front of the computer and more time shooting, then Photoshop Elements might be for you. 
It has both pre-made automatic features, but also high-level and customizable ones. On the other hand, if you're an experienced photographer or graphic artist who wants total control over your images, then Photoshop is probably the better option. With its comprehensive set of features, advanced editing capabilities, and wide range of plugins available, it offers an incredibly powerful platform for digital image creation. So, all in all, it's all about what you want and need out of the software. We have reached the end of our video. As usual, we hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and useful to you. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.